day like no other, but it was a bit bittersweet as well. The price I paid for that moment was ultimate. 15 years of separation away from my family. I have a niece and a sister-in-law that I never met. A destroyed country, millions of refugees and displaced people. Uh, it costed me a father. It costed me prison, jail, detention, hundreds of interrogations. It was a bad time for me at the airport. There are no good days. There are bad days and legendary bad days. Uh, so I slept on the floor on a chair. I used to take a shower in the toilets there. It was annoying for the first couple of months, but when I found my purpose and what I was going to do, to use the social media to tell the story, when I found that purpose, it did not bother me anymore. And I kept uh, reminding myself that I never heard about anyone who died because he was sleeping on a chair. I believe in humanity now. I believe in people, ordinary people who could create the way and lead the change. They could save lives if they wanted to. Not the governments, not the authorities, the people. I have my Canadian passport. I'm going to visit my family. Uh, they are in Egypt now, and for the first time in 15 years, I have the means to actually see my mother and visit them. And then I will uh, start uh, seeking an opportunity with international human organization to go back to refugee camps or where the refugees are, just to try and be on the ground with them and do whatever I could.